So we have somebody from uh, Mr. De La Pena's campaign. Would you please introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, my name is Lourdes De La Pena. Hey. I'm, I am Sergio's fourth child. He has five kids, so I have four wonderful siblings. Um, and so he couldn't be here tonight. So I just wanted to get on the call and to tell you a little bit about my dad and why he's running for governor. His name is Sergio. Uh, my dad was born in Mexico. He lived in a home with dirt floors and no running water. They had to cook their food on a wood burning stove because they didn't have electricity either. When he was five years old, he came to the United States legally with his family and his dad never went to school a day in his life. Uh, but he worked very, very hard as a cowboy and as a farmhand, and his mom went to school up until the sixth grade. He started picking cotton when he was 10 years old, him along with his four brothers, so there were five boys in his family, and both of their parents uh, from 10 years old, so that means after school in the United States in New Mexico, and the program that his dad came on, uh, it allowed his children to work in order to make more money for the family, and so he did that and then he worked 20 different jobs, everything from a uranium mine uh, to hauling hay. Uh, he did it all until he got into the army where he spent 30 years there and he retired as a colonel. Um, the past four years, he worked as the deputy assistant secretary of defense for the Western Hemisphere and the Trump administration. So this means that he was in charge of policy for this half of the world, so North, South and Central America and he's running to protect the American dream. He's lived the immigrant rags to riches story. I mean, literally wearing rags. He owned three shirts when he was a child. And now he raised a family in Northern Virginia. I've lived here since I was two years old. So in one generation, this is the only place in the world that you can do that. So I just think that's amazing. And that's an American dream that's worth treasuring and that we can all, we can all relate to. Um, just the other day, my, my neighbors were getting their portrait done. And my dad went in to go pull, pull in the trash cans on the driveway. And he was taking kind of a while. So my mom was like, where'd dad go? So I opened the door and I'm like, dad, and he's talking to the neighbor, but it wasn't actually our neighbor. It was the people that were doing our neighbor's porch. He comes back in and he had been speaking to them in Spanish. And he said, oh, guess what? The neighbor who's getting his portrait done. Yeah, his worker, we both pick cotton and their family actually came from similar places. So I think this just shows the relatability of my father. And the reality is, is that any candidate who's gonna win has to be able to win Northern Virginia. As unfortunate as it is, Northern Virginia controls the rest of Red Virginia. And so we believe that my dad has that story that can win Northern Virginia because he's an immigrant and he can speak to the immigrant votes. To be honest, the average Democrat who's been voting Democrat for 30 years is not just going to change their mind because they see my dad being a different candidate. It's just not going to happen. So we have to tap into these people who have never voted before, who need to understand that my father is their father or their grandfather or their great grandfather. He's this person who's worked every job. He can speak to the president in the United States and he can speak to the person getting their porch done. Um, my father in 2016, when other Republicans were sitting on the sidelines, decided to get involved after yelling at the radio for much too long. Um, he decided to join the Trump campaign. So he volunteered for President Trump and he did 60 interviews in Spanish in Spanish international media. Uh, he represented the world after getting his job, the United States government and his entire career in the army and then also in the Department of Defense was to fight socialists all around the world. And I remember the day he told us that he was going to run for governor of Virginia, he told us in a very somber way that he sees that a lot of Virginia leaders are looking an awful lot like them. When he was in Venezuela, he was an election observer. He met Hugo Chavez before he got elected. And when he was watching that election, he said that Hugo Chavez told him about his favorite leader, Mao. And he was very confused, very concerned. And he went and told his boss in the army that Mao was going to drive Venezuela into the ground. And here we are. Just a few generations later, my sister was born there and it's been heartbreaking to see the change that has happened there. So my dad is heartbroken at the state of Virginia, I think just like every other candidate and every other person on this call, I assume, which is the reason why you're here. Um, and so it's important that Virginia is gonna elect a leader who can win the general election. You have to put somebody who knows how to stop these socialist ideas. My dad's the only candidate who has helped restore law and order all over the world. He's the only candidate who's fought socialists all over the world. He's the only candidate who's worked for President Trump making policy for half the world. 
He's the only candidate who's observed three international elections, and he's the only candidate who's actually reached immigrants before. So he can run Northern, he can run Virginia, he can win Northern Virginia, and the uniqueness of his story is that he's not unique. So I would ask that you would vote for my father because when put head to head, he can beat the Democrat. I will put his website and his information, contact information in the chat. I know that we've been doing a lot more traveling around Virginia and he has plans to come visit your area. So if you like our Facebook page, um, we will be sure to post that information on there if you do do Facebook. And if not, please, please feel free to send us an email and we'll reach out to you and let you know we're in the area. We'd love to meet you all in person and I'm sure that he would be delighted to see you all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We will certainly appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Any questions? How does he stand? How does he stand on open borders? So he is he is for legal immigration. Um, I know that his parents worked very hard in order to come here. So he believes that everyone, regardless of education, should have an opportunity to come to the United States, but they should do so in a legal way and they shouldn't just cut the line because there are many good people that want to come here and there are many criminals who are walking across the border and it's not good. Thank you. Thank you.